their fights and are able to power punch. And there's a huge left hook. There's an overhand right again. There's now Lucas, or excuse me, now, I mean, it's home. And a big left hook followed by a... And there's an uppercut that knocked Lucas up. Lucas hasn't had many right uppercut from Nyamba, but Lucas is throwing. Once you hit him with a couple jabs, there is that. There is that left hook and then the right uppercut. And then here's the uppercut right on the button. Just there is a straight jab and then an overhand right. Just Nyamba certainly has the age advantage on him. His level of competition has been significantly greater. In charge of the action, Eddie Claudio. His record stands at 25 wins, one loss. Sakaria Luca. His record stands at 12 wins, two losses. Tukstor Nyambaya. Protect yourself and obey my commands at all times. Touch up if you want. See you later. Nyambaya in the black. Nyambaya doesn't typically take too long level step level up in competition. One of the issues that Nyambayar has had in their fights and are able to power punch, and there's a huge left hook. He does have a big, being patient. He realized he hurts Lucas Trunks. The left hook, looping left. There's another one that connected again. Quick jab thrown out by. Able to, it, it appears, <clears throat> out execute. There's another left answer countered by Lucas. His opponent out. He's always usually the first one in. And there you see Nyambayar with the big overhand right connected right quicker. The lure in Nyambayar into. He is not being too aggressive. And there's another uppercut again connected on that here in round one. Countering beautiful. Punch coming. Now it's just perfectly different level of competition here. I liked how patient Nyan Bayar was in that first and pick apart a guy like Lucas. There's that. Nyan Bayar. Just, again, just the patience. They were able to reevaluate. There's the straight right again. Really sprinting forward. Luke looking for openings, trying to finish, but did it very methodically. And there's another quick jab. Ambayar went back to the drawing board with his trainer, John Pullman. Nearly bumped heads. As Lucas was going in, a jab out there. That was one of the Colbert. Those guys were just great tacticians. Didn't try to overexert himself, going for the knockout. Overhand right. But again, that left hook punches that Colbert and Russell use so well in their fights against Knight. One of the lessons he's learned fighting guys like Gary Russell Jr. and Chris get to that next step. Uh, defeating world. The jab is, he certainly has the reach on Nyan by R. Use your jab and then just punch a combination. You got me? It only took about no, 10 days. No, you can't get hit. You, really you heard the corner of Lucas. I'm a hurt. He's no, hurt he's okay. No, he's not there. Can you continue? A little bit of confusion there. Continue, referee Eddie Claudio, let them continue. Here in round three. Nayam Bayar. Let's see. I mean, it's home. And a big left hook followed by a. And there's a body shot with the overhand right. Nayam Bayar. Lucas using the jab. Lucas has to be careful not to get too wild. Content with the way this round has been going thus far. That's something certainly to monitor here. This is letting Nayam Bayar to keep the punches up. Go into the body. You heard John Pullman let Nyan Bayard know. Wide open, and now you can start to see the stumble. Uh -huh. Uh 
but it he has not seemed yet, at least, some of the confusion that was going on in the corner of Lucas. Kind of looked at referee Eddie Claudio, said that Lucas was holding his right arm a bit down. And now there's Nyambar. Right uppercut from Nyambar, but Lucas is throwing. He's not in your league. This is not it. And there's that left hook again. But as you heard from Lucas, he said he wanted to, even with all the confusion, still in this fight. At third round, there is that left hook, and that was the big. Present some adversity to him. And as for Nyambayar, I know he's being patient. It's looking for openings. Quick right hook from King Tug. And then again, he... And there is a huge right hand that Lucas should... A little over three rounds. Approach in this bout. Establish a jab. And I think that's the, the main punch that Lucas needs to... Has been more active. There's a left hook. Lucas really hasn't been able to hurt, hurt Nyan by our. Not as accurate as Nyan by our. There's a um, King Tug. And that's the end of the round here. Put yourself together with the emotional aspect with what you just spoke about. You know, we ready, we prepared. All right, Gary, look forward. To but first, throw some combinations at Lucas and see how he handles it. There's an overhand right again. There's now Lucas, or excuse me, now. Now a stiff chap. And there is a. He's been knocked off balance. And there's an uppercut that knocked Lucas off. Both fighters. Nyan Bayar, King Tug against Lucas. And that's what happens when Lucas is a little bit more of what I wanted to see from King Tug. Body once again. Overhand right, connected. And you're starting to see King Tug. Claudio just giving him a warning. Doesn't want to see any more of that. Now Tug, final seconds here in round five. Is that right uppercut again, right on the button, man. Round six, here we go. And speaking of jab, Lucas is borders with Lucas. He really use the space where he can stick. And there's another big left looping. Trying to squeeze that right spot for the Namibia native. Lucas sticks the jab, once again in the face of King. And Tug using the jab, hasn't thrown it much. And you heard trainer John Pullman. And there's a left hook again from Lucas. Hasn't had many. Now give credit to Lucas for taking this fight on short notice. Again, right there, there, with the jab, followed it up with the right cross. And Tug throwing the jab out there into the body. And there's a right cross again, backing Lucas up. But late last year in November in an epic fight. Here, especially being on the same card as the WBC. Certainly been cruising through this fight by suffering some big shots, but he's been able to stay up on his feet. Has been a game opponent. He has been patient throughout this fight. There's been he has kind of held back a bit. Round seven. No, you're King Tug backing away. Is taking a more tactical approach. Has been patient up the rounds. 
has landed the bigger, cleaner shots. Let his hands go even more. Going to make things as difficult as possible for King Tug. And there's that. Uh, moments, little spurts where he really. There you see Lucas again. And now here's Jim Gray. As he waits his opportunity, cause of Nyambayar not being entirely focused. It's Gary Russell Jr. And there's a huge right hand by Lucas, and now, and he's pouring it on Nyambayar. Nyambayar, he's got to be careful. What clean knockdown. The corner of Lucas, and now he is trying to salvage this eighth round. as not many have been able to solve the puzzle that is. And now Lucas starting to let his hands go. I think we're gonna have to go back and take a look at that one. Was on in cruise control and Lucas. For cards. And right by Nyan Bayar. And he's trying to weather the Lucas back in the face of Nyan Bayar. That seemed to be a clear shot. And Lucas, uh, very aggressive. He sees that he had Nayar has stacked a lot of rounds already in the bank. There's some body shots. Been his best round tonight. Don't agree with that one. There's Jaron Boots Ennis. And then there is that stiff jab and and there you see 2022. Certainly one of the most talented. And now on by our. And Lucas once again, he doesn't have a bad jab whatsoever. And it's been a punch that has been very favorable for him tonight after that eighth round. Back division, and now as we resume in round nine, Nyan by our and both guys that jab caused the knockdown, continues to take the jab back to the body to answer. And let look, he has it has opened some things up. I mean, that was one of the reasons. And again, Nyambar, Lucas, and now Nyambar looking for that left hook. Left again from King Tug as round nine. Then final round here. Oh, hasn't made it easy for him, but Nayan Bayar has been quicker. He's been wants to talk with both guys and warn them. Right again from King Tug, right on the chin. Try to land that big right. She with Lucas, but Lucas certainly had a bright spot in that. will need a knockout to come out victorious here in the top. in trying to win the fight. He may need a very well. Of uh, Lucas, and there's that left hook, and there he's. There's another one, and here we go. Resuming action, 10th and final round. Final seconds, and. He wasn't going to last the entire 10 rounds. Lucas, lesson for him. And there you see that round eight. There is a look. Once again, there is that big overhand right by Lucas in the division. As Jimmy Lennon Jr. has the scorecards. Scorecards with a split decision here. The score totals 95 to 95, 96 to 94, 96 to 94. It is a split decision draw. You can tell us from your vantage point what you see.
That's something that you don't see every day in boxing where ups to Zacharia Lucas getting the draw.